Before setting up the NetHSM, we set the hostname environment variable. This way, we do not have to enter the full hostname for every command. First, we request information about the NetHSM. After that, we check that the NetHSM is unprovisioned. The NetHSM reported an unprovisioned state. Therefore, we can start the provisioning. During provisioning, we need to set the unlock and admin passphrase. Afterward, the NetHSM reports a provisioned state. We can request system settings, for instance the network settings, with the getconfig command. Before we can work with the key operations, we need to create an operator user. For demonstration purposes, we create two of them. We are going to use tags, which are optional. To the first operator account, we assign the tag Berlin. Afterward, we create an RSA key. We assign the just created key, the tag Berlin, as well. We need the public key to encrypt data with the RSA key we just created. We are going to retrieve it from the NetHSM. Subsequently, we can encrypt data with OpenSSL and the public key. Afterward, the encrypted data can be decrypted with the private key stored in the NetHSM. Now we try using operator 2, which has no Berlin tag assigned. As expected, the decryption failed 
because an operator user can only use keys that either have a matching tag or no tag. Therefore, it works for operator 1. The NetHSM can also be used with PKCS11. This command also decrypts the data, but uses the PKCS11 module. The NetHSM can also be rebooted remotely. Because this NetHSM is configured using attended boot mode, after a reboot, it is in a locked state and needs to be unlocked. To initiate a backup, we first need to set the backup passphrase. A user can only initiate the backup operation with the backup role assigned. Now the backup user can initiate the backup operation. After obtaining a backup file, we initiate a factory reset for testing purposes the NetHSM will reboot into an unprovisioned state. A NetHSM in an unprovisioned state can be restored from a backup file. As we can see, the before created user accounts and keys are available again.